this one. Okay, can you cut across the neck? Hi guys, my name is Amani and I was studying fitness at ETA College last year and I'm a qualified personal trainer. I'm a qualified personal trainer. I don't think that people need to go to the I don't think that people should go to the gym because you don't necessarily need to go to the gym to get fit or to get a, to get to look good to get a physical body goal because obviously you can actually just stay at home and work out at home and do some basic exercises like push-ups sit-ups crunches all the basics and obviously squats air squats you don't need any weights to actually get big and yeah I don't think you need to go to the gym at all Yes, I have been to a gym before due to the fact that I'm a rugby player and my coach always recommended that I actually do a bit of weight training because that's what rugby players do on a daily, on, usually. So, but the thing is I've never always, I've gone to the gym because we, we had to do testing and the testing are consisted of weight, um, bench pressing as well as squatting with weight. Uh, so I did that with my coach and they tend to focus on obviously one rep maximum. So you lift the heaviest weight you can with one rep and I used to do that and some guys actually used to do that I mean, some guys tend to do that and they they're not used to body uh, to weight to weight and they tend to get injured and obviously put strain on the body which kind of leads to injuries which is not what you want so you can actually get the same workout as well uh, doing body weight exercises at home and actually it's less strenuous and you get the same results you don't necessarily need fancy gym equipments all you need is yourself a good mind, a good mindset, a positive mindset actually, uh, discipline and self-control. So basically, uh, I'm a perfect example of that. So I've been working out for eight years now and I've not been using a lot of weights. This is whole body weight workouts and this is the results I've got. So Rome wasn't built overnight and you can look good without fancy gym equipment. Okay, for someone who's only starting out uh, at home, I would recommend that you don't actually necessarily need any equipment. So obviously you want a full body workout. So I would start off with basically giving you some leg exercises. So you wanna do your squats, your calf raises, the basic leg exercises, squats, lunges, calf raises. And then obviously for your core, just some sit-ups, some crunches, as well as for your arms, some basic push-ups. Obviously if you're a man, you're doing the normal push-ups. You can either make it, you can, like you're only starting, so you keep it basic and normal. So you do the normal shoulder width push-up. And for females, you do the knee push-up. Um, so for, yeah, I've covered everything, legs, core, and upper body. Honestly, I don't think you need to have any equipments at home, but if you want, if you are an advanced like me, if you've been training, doing bodyweight training for quite a long time and you wanna, you wanna make your workouts interesting and a bit more challenging, I would recommend that you buy a resistant band because that's actually very good and very ideal and very convenient. It helps you with uh, building uh, more muscle, obviously getting leaner. So I've been, I started using a resistant band last year. I bought a resistant band and I've been using that as well as I've been using resistant band to do some um, side walking for my hamstrings and my calves. I mean, my hamstrings and my quads. So that's been working very well. So you don't necessarily need fancy equipment, but I would recommend if you're doing push-ups, you actually get a, a push-up stand. It's very uh, convenient for, for the wrist because it's, it's less strenuous in the wrist. So it prevents you from, getting, uh, from injuring your wrist and obviously for old age arthritis. So it actually minimizes the chances of you getting arthritis. Yes, I am currently writing a book and the book is based on my life story, my life journey from where I came from, which is Burundi to South Africa. So basically the book tells about how I walked from Burundi, which is my home country, to here, South Africa, and the experiences I, I encountered along the journey, as well as the obstacles I had to endure and the people I met along the way. So um, it was quite a tough journey, obviously, and the, the book which I'm writing is based, is, it's written to inspire and basically to motivate those people who whenever they're feeling down in their life, they feel like there's no more hope or they feel like there's, they're, they're facing the most uh, traumatic experiences in their life that no matter what you're going through, you can always persevere, you can always come at the top. So the book is basically meant to uh, inspire and motivate people. And I'm planning on getting it finished uh, by the end of March and obviously then giving it over to the publishers 
by the end of March. And I'm expecting the publishers, obviously, to, I'm expecting the book to come out uh, mid-November, late November. So, yes, that's what I'm writing at the moment. Yes, there are a few quotes which I carry with me and which resonates well with me. There's a quote which says, uh, which says, live full and die empty. So this quote basically says you basically you should use every single opportunity you get, every single second, every minute, every hour of every day and make the most of it. With what do whatever you have to do with what you have and appreciate everything you do. Uh, the next quote is before I'm boxed and buried, I want to make sure that I box and bury every single obstacle and curveball that life has to throw that life throws my way. So basically this um, uh, quote uh, resonates well with me in the sense that no matter what I've, I've been through a lot, so I've learned to no matter what happens, there's no and I mean I can always come out the, I can always come out on top. So no matter what obstacle or what curveball or any challenges I face in life, I know that I will always come on top because I've got that mindset. Um, I've been through a lot, so I've grown. So I would recommend that you actually take that quote into perspective. And last but not least is <laughs> hashtag YOLO. Uh, you only live once. So um, use every single opportunity, every second, every minute, every hour of your life and just do whatever what you have to do. Live happy, be happy, be positive, be optimistic. Never ever be negative. So, yeah. My name is Amani, and hashtag please explain. <laughs>